What is going on guys? This is Mark from Superhuman Fitness and it has been a while. I'm going to get more into what I've been working on the past couple of weeks and uh, more about that just at the end of this video because I know some of you guys clicked because the title clicked because of the thumbnail. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. Now, first thing I want to talk about is as you read the title, right? Khabib had a broken foot. Yes. So this is crazy, right? Khabib, absolutely, if you haven't seen the fight, Khabib mauled uh, Justin Gaethje, like just destroyed him. First couple of two minutes, uh, first couple of two minutes, first two minutes he was just like, you know, staying on his feet, kind of just feeling uh, the fight. But he, like like uh, Dana White said, he really didn't feel, uh, give too much like like worry or attention per se to, uh, to Justin Gaethje striking. He just kind of did what he wanted to him. So as soon as he got a hold of him, he took him down literally first round, bat an arm bar second round, ch uh, choked him out instantly. Now it was crazy because uh, while this fight was actually happening, I was recording it and I was literally doing like a live reaction to the fight, right? And I was like, oh, I bet I might get a video out because I haven't uploaded in a long time. So I'm doing that and then I'm literally about to edit it and then there's no audio, like none of my audio recorded the fight audio, none of mine. So that was very upsetting, but honestly, it was just such a quick fight. Now it gets crazier when you realize that Khabib had a broken foot the whole time. So try to try to put yourself in Khabib's shoes, right? So your father dies, you, your mother doesn't want you to fight but your fans really want to see you fight. And this is one of the biggest fights. It was your dad's dream, but your mother doesn't want you to keep fighting. Right? So he's in such a predicament. Then he breaks his foot like a couple of weeks ago in like two different spots. That's what his cornerman said, by the way, at the end of the fight. He didn't tell anybody before. This is all after. He actually had a broken foot during this fight with Justin Gaethje the whole time and nobody knew. Now I'm going to play a little clip of Dana White actually like explaining this a little bit better because you know i'm just kind of rewarding things that i've heard i am not friends with uh, khabib unfortunately i would love to be but i am not so not only did he lose his father break his foot and his mother didn't want him to fight he had like his own legacy kind of to maintain he was what 28 and 0 his dad wanted him to be 30 and 0 so you know his dad wanted the fight but at the same time it's different when the person who wants you to do it who like your motivation your coach every everything to you basically is not even there so from his perspective it's just he had so much on him like even when you see him like walking out he just doesn't look the same but then again he had a broken foot too you know so it could be just like a mix of everything he had so much on his plate and he still absolutely destroyed this guy which just says a lot about him as a person now Mainly I made this video first to just share that because not a lot of people know that I actually didn't know that until literally just a little bit ago I was thinking like what can I make a video about and I realized this I was like no way he had a broken foot I gotta share this so there we go he had a broken foot during the fight his last fight he had a broken foot and destroyed the guy within three minutes absolutely ridiculous. this guy is a monster now i'm gonna get into why i haven't been able to upload and all that but uh before i do get into that i know some of you guys probably don't care because you knew you don't even know who i am if you don't my name is mark obviously i told you guys at the start you better remember that because we're gonna i'm gonna come find you if uh if you don't remember that but uh my name is mark superhuman fitness i love talking about martial arts i watch the ufc i actually used to work at ufc gym not really related but i uh, i'm just super like in depth if that makes sense into the martial arts uh, world been training since i was literally a kid like maybe four or five years old i've been training my first martial arts karate anyways that is who i am i'm just super passionate about martial arts so if you're new here it sounds like something you're interested in martial arts working out in general hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this now let's talk about what i've been up to so you guys already know some of you guys know if you know me i'm in college if you don't know me i'm in college <laughs> i'm actually about to transfer and um, I just have a lot of that on my plate. Not only that, but I also moved houses. And I'm working, like, I have, like, another kind of side business that I've been working on. Because YouTube, unfortunately, does not pay too well. Until you guys help me out, you know, by smashing the like button for the algorithm, I won't be able to do this completely full-time. So I have my own other side business that has been kind of, like, making me more... Uh, more revenue to be able to, like, just sustain my life, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I've been doing. But I love YouTube, so... If you guys can help me, smash that like button. But seriously, thank you again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Not a big YouTuber, so every single view, every single like, every single subscribe helps. Leave a comment on what you would like to see next. Let me know if you guys actually knew that he uh, had his broken foot or if you just found out from now. So let me know. Love you guys. Peace out.